More than 6,000 students are enrolled free of charge at the Tumo Center for Creative Technologies. From music to animation, game and web development to digital media, students work on hundreds of creative projects. Tumo is the only place like this, I think in the whole world. It's fun. I just enjoy working with kids and they have so much creative energy. We are not uh, students here. We are free, we can uh, learn and listen to music. Through projects like the hand-drawn and computer-animated film like Water on Stone, students work at their own pace, learning technical skills like Java programming, 3D modeling, and 2D graphics. The Tumo Center marries arts and technology. It gives kids of all ages a chance to learn about animation, computer programming, robotics, and design. It also helps them acquire the skills needed for a 21st century job. What we are trying to do is to, to create an environment where uh, kids will, or teenagers will be able to reach their full potential. I'm not going to draw your eyelashes first. Professionals from some of the world's leading companies, along with media practitioners, animators, and filmmakers, coach and guide students. What I like is that it's not just old art practices. It's trying to find the ways that um, yeah, that art meets techno technology, that, uh, the new ways of doing things, the new programs. The popularity of TUMO has prompted the opening of three new centers just like it in Armenia alone. This after-school learning process has attracted the attention of educators from around the world, including the U.S., Russia, Lebanon and Germany. Someone came from MIT Media Lab and he told me this is the future of learning. This is a school. This is how schools have to be. The Simonian Education Foundation in Texas and its ethnic Armenian donors paid the $20 million launch bill and keep it open with a million and a half dollar annual operating budget. And how is TUMO's success gauged? By students not dropping out, by being able to create portfolios of their work, landing jobs and having an edge in the competitive global economy. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera, Yerevan, Armenia.